seriously. Stand up straight. It says something about you. It says you take yourself seriously. It says you love yourself. It says you stand for something. If you worry about money, your root chakra is off balance. To materialize and realize the woman of your dreams, you need to get your energies right. Video. I actually want to speak about the first two energies in this video because they, I feel like they are so interlinked and it's how our world runs. But when we embody our root chakra, we are present, we are here, we stand firm. Standing, you are a winner. I don't, I've never seen a winner like get like first prize medal uh, at Rupile unless maybe I'm a paraplegic. And even then, say I understand that they have a disability. Hello winners, uh, welcome to our circle. Let me start there. I am not looking more presentable because as I said, I think I said in the previous video, looks do matter. I'm not presentable. It's just that this feels, this is a very raw conversation that I'd like us to have. It's a very raw video uh, or thing that I'm discussing and I don't want us to be superficial about it. And I think that's why I feel comfortable coming before the camera with just like my pajamas and my faux locks. What am I speaking about today? I am speaking about energies. Yep. I am speaking about energies because everything in this world is energy. Everything begins in the energetic realm and then it solidifies, it materializes into the material realm. Even you, you started as a soul somewhere and then you materialized. Everything that you see on this earth that is man-made started as an idea. An idea is a form of spirit. An idea is, it's a form of energy. And then you materialize, you know. <clears throat> so that's why they say, Wuti, everything starts in the ethers and then it comes down to to the planet earth or to our realm why are we talking about this because to 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 materialize and realize the woman of your dreams you need to get your energies right and i don't mean in the sense that you should like this energy should be or whatever but you need to fully feel like your energies are aligned internally and for in this case when i talk about energies i'm talking about chakras Please remember that everything I say, um, it comes with a disclaimer that it's not written in stone. It's not the word of God. Uh, and part of being a winner is having discernment. Yep. Having discernment, the, the ability to pick what is right for you and what isn't. <clears throat> Too often in, in people who aren't really much winners, ne? They look at life as if it's like black or white. It's either right or wrong. They look at life in binaries. And that is not, in my experience, how life works. Life has complexities. Like you don't just like have a, a low, low lying field and then a mountain. No, a mountain. You don't, you don't like, you don't just have like a manzi and then like the land and then like just the ocean. No, the ocean now, you know, the water slides off. So there are gray areas in life. I think if we start there, just know that everything that happens in life, there are gray areas. And you you can pick us. It's okay, this suits me. This doesn't suit me. You, there's no reason for us to fight or bash each other or like, no, it's like this. Of course, we are open to inputs like, oh, you know, I've thought about it like this way. That's what winners do. Winners, they, they dialogue. They share, they, they share ideas. You know, they, it's, it's not, it's not a fight for who's right or who's wrong. God, I'm derailing. But I need to put this disclaimer because energies are a very fluid thing. You know, and some people feel like no energies are not scientifically what 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 science the, the idea and please remember me now I'm an engineer so I studied science in depth. Science is it's a masculine principle. Part of the reason I make these videos is because I'd like us to 
like get into the feminine principles of things learn to be a woman to see the world from a woman's eyes and that not to be a weakness okay that was my long ass introduction let's get into it let's get into energies the first energy which actually i think is what i want to discuss throughout this video i actually want to speak about the first two energies in this video because they, i feel like they are so interlinked and it's how our world runs <clears throat> the first uh chakra is the root chakra listen to that word it is the root chakra it is what grounds you it is what makes you feel at home on this planet earth it what makes you feel like you really inhabit your body you know have you know like when some people is like a, a, like experience trauma and then they dissociate and they like they feel like they are out of their bodies you know as the trauma is occurring i'm sorry I didn't mean to trigger everyone, anyone if i did trigger anyone um but the root ch chakra means feel like it feels like you really you embody your body you know part of embodying your body that when you speak you speak with an air of presence you are present unfortunately I, I can't move my camera so that you can see you are present because you are in you are in your body as opposed to when you're not present and you like you so someone who does as i said in the other video does these type of things they're not present in their body they are it's all like it's almost like they're in their body but they're hiding inside their body but when we embody our root chakra we are present we are here we stand firm our shoulders are abroad and your spine oh my god this is something that i've come to learn in the last month or two sitting up straight guys like not even in a um, etiquette thing but i've come to learn or I've, 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 I'm, i have the suspicion that sitting up straight has a lot to do with your sense of self-worth it's it's like something is missing inside of them that is that is preventing them from sitting up straight. guys sit up straight you know it's you know have you looked at a tree a tree doesn't often like grow like this no like a tree that's gonna be up for many many years it goes up straight yeah it it's the and that you see root chakra it connects you to the earth and if you if you look as i said if you look at tree it it, it stands up straight so now when you embody your your root chakra you 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 you, out, you open up your chest cavity and also remember if you open up your chest cavity then you can really operate from your heart oh my god and the, and also being able to operate from your heart is also like feeling protected that's oh my god that's another thing that's another element of like the root chakra but when you embody your root chakra chest out chest out drop shoulders your spine is as straight you can have it right at first it's hard to get used to because i think a lot of us like we slouch and whatever but i think that is a drooping in you drooping you're not standing you are a winner i don't i've never seen a winner like gets like first prize medal uh a droopile unless maybe i'm a paraplegic and even then say i understand that they have a disability but chances are, if you're watching, you know, chances are you don't have a disability. Stand up straight. It says something about you. It says you take yourself seriously. It says you love yourself. It says you stand for something. And even if it's nothing else, even if it's just standing for yourself. And even when you're sitting. And also people always say, Guti, it's tiring to sit up straight. It's not tiring to sit up straight, guys. If you do it, like, remember, Guti, your spine, it's like, it's almost like this. So you rest, like just, you can rest straight. It's almost like tonight you want to rest like this. And that doesn't, that's not resting. That's, oh my God. <laughs> and, I don't, and you know, I'm, when I came to realize it, I was just like, every, like, you know what happens? Sometimes I'll find myself like slouching and an inner voice will say to me, sit up straight. Like, Hubani, like who, remember who you are. Sit up straight. You're a child of God. Don't come here misrepresenting God with your posture. Okay, I'm not saying like you represent God with your posture. But don't come here slouching. Like God, like this, God built you to be a winner. And God gave you broad shoulders. And he gave you a clavicle. And like, like, oh my God. Ah, let me explain this. Our energies get 
physical and the higher they go because the seven chakras right the higher they go the more non-physical they become and the root chakra is the most physical chakra that you have and the most physical thing that you have is your body so if you're going to try to embody not try no in this channel we don't try we do we don't try to be winners we are winners that's why we're here so in your root chakra the easiest thing to do to it's guys when you catch yourself slouching remind yourself who you are just be like no i am a child of god or a child or a child whoever your divine power is whoever helps you navigate this realm rem remind yourself who see you represent that person and this slouching gives an energy of defeat and you are not defeated never you'll be defeated even when you're six feet under you're not defeated because you'll be with your higher power so you are never defeated so whenever you catch yourself slouching and also the thing is you guys know that you're slouching and again titties are because i'm projecting because it used to be me one day <laughs> or rather in the past you the like your your top you you're the top of your back, your spine, iakatala. That's why you even know that you iakatala because you should not be sitting that way. The second element of the root chakra is having a home. It's security. Let's say that it is security in whatever sense that security means to you. Not a security guide isn't like a security guide, but it's just like it's just knowing that whatever happens to you, you're going to be okay. You know, you, you're going to be fine. And unfortunately, for a lot of us, that means money. If you worry about money, your root chakra is off balance. Um, if you worry about your home, right? Like you worry, Uti, where am I going to sleep at night? Chances are your root chakra is imbalanced. These are big topics that, you know, I, I, unfortunately, I wish I could give like a quick, easy fix to them. But I just, there isn't one. There isn't one. But if you, if you know you're concerned about your financial well-being, please write down a plan. A goal that we discussed in our previous video write down a goal on how you are going to get out of that situation because it's very hard to step out in the world and be who you are destined to be to be the winner that you were born to be if you have to worry about your stability um your financial stability and your financial security